Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. In version 7.0, Adobe introduced the Smart Brush tools, which allow you to apply a wide range of effects selectively by brushing across your image. There are 50 preset effects to choose from for adjusting color and tone, creating effects, and touching up details including lipstick, suntan, cloud contrast, infrared, impressionist, several color tints, film negative, fluorescent glow, and bright eyes. These effects are applied non-destructively using adjustment layers and masks. The regular mode of the smart brush tries to make an automatic selection using edge detection like the quick selection tool. The Detail Smart Brush lets you paint on the adjustment, giving you much more control over the selection. To use these tools, select one from the Tools palette. They're located right here, so we'll right-click on that, and I think we'll, we'll use the Smart Brush tool, just the standard one for this demonstration. Up in the Options bar, you're given choices to create, with these three buttons here, either a new selection, or you can then add or subtract from a current selection that you have. Once you make a selection down here in your image file, then these buttons will also appear and you can add to your selections and so forth when you're doing that. You can also, up here in the options bar, change your brush settings. You can change the brush, change the diameter, the hardness, and spacing, just like always. You can also change your brush settings or select the inverse here and that will apply the inverse of the effect that you have chosen. You use the presets drop down to select the effect you wish to apply. That's located right here. You'll see this other drop down here. They're grouped by categories, all purpose, black and white, color, lighting, and so forth. Or you can select show all to select all of these. I think we'll select the x-ray one. It's kind of a neat effect. We'll close that out. Then, you just click and drag with your brush to make your selection. Now, after I make that selection, I can click the Add to Selection if I like and use my brush again, and continue to add to the selection. Now again, remember, we can go back here and we can select the Detail Smart Brush tool if we like, and then using that, you have a lot more control in that you can actually paint directly on it instead of it trying to make the selection based on the edges for you. So you can do it either way and apply those different effects using the Smart Brush tools. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!